Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, Shadow of the Storm. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is medium length, about 20 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 30 crafting, completion of Demon Slayer and the Golem quests, and the ability to defeat an Agrith Nar level 100. The required items for this quest include 400 coins, silver bar, pestle and mortar, Shantae Pass, which is obtained during the quest, or a Draymond Staff or Lunar Staff. Silverlight, which you should have received from the quest Demon Slayer, but if you did lose it, you can buy it from Sir Pryson for 500 GP at the Varrock Palace. Strange Implement, which is also obtained during the quest. Black Mushroom Ink, or Empty Vial. Three pieces of any black outfit, which could include black plate armor, dark mystic robes, ghostly robes, black dehyde, and more. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have Desert Clothing and Fez, Full Water Skins, Super Energy and Stamina Potions, Slayer Ring for quick Fairy Ring access, Ring of Dueling, Melee Gear is preferred but magic works as well, Weapon or Runes, Food, Prayer Potion, 43 Prayer, a way to write something down like Notepad. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. To start the quest, first travel to Al Karid. The easiest way to get there is by using a Ring of Dueling to the Duel Arena. From there, walk to the bank that is on the southwest side of town. Just south of the bank is Father Reen. Talk to him. When prompted, say, that's me. After the conversation, you'll need to go to the ruins of Uzer. You can either use a fairy ring code to DLQ and walk north, or walk through the Shantae Pass and take the carpet to Uzer. If you're using fairy rings, you can teleport with a Slayer Ring to the Relica Slayer Cave for quick fairy ring access. Once an oozer, talk to Father Baden. When prompted, say, Reen sent me. Then go through all the options. Tell me more about Agrith Nar. Tell me more about Danoth. Why has he come to Uzer? Foul construct, do you mean the golem? So what do you want me to do? And how can I do that? After the conversation, use the stairs nearby to go into the dungeon. If you don't already have the black mushroom ink, then walk to the most northeastern corner and pick a mushroom up. Use the pestle and mortar on the black mushroom to make the ink. Walk to the northwest corner of this room and pick up the strange implement if you don't have it already. Now put on your black clothing and use a black mushroom ink on your silver light to dye it. Walk north to the portal and talk with Evil Dave who is standing just in front of it. When prompted say, I want to join your group and... I'm evil. A cutscene will occur and you'll be in the demonic throne room. Zanoth will start talking to you. Be ready to write down the incantation he gives you. When prompted say, what do I have to do? He will tell you the incantation. This is different for everyone, so be sure to write down the whole thing in order. If you missed it, talk to him again and ask about the incantation. Talk to Jennifer, who is also located in this room. When prompted, say, do you have the demon sigil mold? She will give you the mold. Now teleport back to Al Karid using a ring of dueling to the duel arena. Walk to the furnace located just north of the bank.
Once there, use your silver bar on the furnace and choose the Make Demonic Sigil option. Afterwards, make your way back to the Demonic Throne Room in Uzer. You will no longer need the black outfit to enter. Once there, talk to Matthew. When prompted, say, yes, I suppose I am, and do you know what happened to Joseph? Go back up to the surface and talk to the clay golem. When prompted, say, did you see anything happen last night? After the conversation, search all of the kilns in Uzer to locate a book. There are four in total. Once you have the book, read it and then return to the demonic throne room. Talk to Matthew again. Afterwards, Danoth will announce for the incantation to start. If he does not, try talking to him. All the members will stand in a circle in the center of the room. Take the only empty position to complete the circle. Then chant with your demonic sigil in your inventory. Check what incantation you have written down and chant it. A cutscene will occur and Danoth will turn out to be Agrith Nar, a demon. Pick up the sigil that Danoth dropped on the floor. Exit the room using the portal on the south side and another cutscene will occur. Tanya, a member, will be killed. Be sure to pick up the sigil she drops as well. Talk to Evil Dave just to the south. When prompted say, you've got to get back to the throne room. You will receive another sigil. You should now have four sigils in your inventory. Exit the room to go back up to the surface. A dust storm will start that might cause damage against you. Talk to Father Baden and give him a sigil. Talk to Father Reen. When prompted, say, oh, don't be so simple-minded. You'll give him a sigil as well. Talk to the clay golem who won't be able to help you. Use a strange implement on him. Talk to him again, and you'll give him a sigil. Once finished, use the stairs to go down. Before we start the next part, let's talk about the final battle. Agrith Nar is a level 100 greater demon who uses melee up close and fire blasts from far away. If you try to use mage or range against him, he may teleport you close enough to him so he can hit you with melee. He can only be defeated by using the silver light on him as the final blow. He is weak to crush and magic. If you die while fighting him, you will lose all of your items. If attacking him with melee, using protect from melee prayer will be helpful. When ready, enter the demonic throne room and talk to Matthew. When prompted, say yes. Take your position within the circle. Chant using the demonic sigil, and this time chant the incantation backwards, and Agrithnar will appear. Fight him and be sure to use the silver light for the final blow. Defeat him to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 10,000 XP in any combat skill other than prayer, and the Dark Light Sword. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>